Take a deep breath. And another. Put any thoughts you have of the here and now aside and prepare yourself to go on a journey. Take another deep breath. Imagine yourself in a large farmer's field on a beautiful spring morning. The sun is shining and a fresh breeze is blowing in from the sea. In the far corner of the field, you can see a few people are starting to gather because that's where the three huge balloons are tethered. Each one is three or four stories high, towering over the people. There is a red one, a blue and white striped one, and a purple one with silver stars. You run towards the line that's forming in front of the balloons. Today, you're going for a ride. You get your ticket and are excited you'll be in the first group to go up in the purple balloon with the stars on it. You watch the other balloons launch and then it's your turn. You're amazed how small the basket is for the 10 of you, but Captain Beebe says it's very safe and you'll all be comfortable when you get on board. You climb in, and before you know it, the captain unties the ropes and the balloon starts to slowly rise. You can see the field below you and the people getting smaller and smaller. You can see the mountains way off in the distance to the right and you can see the ocean on the left, closer than you thought it was. The local school and the farmer's market are distinguishable below, and the highway that winds off into the distance. The high-rise buildings of the city can begin to be made out on the horizon in the distance. You start to realize how interconnected everything is and how tiny each individual person is down on the ground. The balloon continues to rise higher and higher and you can see it's almost getting to the clouds. Captain Beebe clears his throat. <clears> throat> Welcome to our magical balloon ride, he says. Your ticket for this purple and star balloon will take you even higher. Relax and enjoy the view. The balloon enters a kind of misty whiteness of one of the clouds. When it comes out the other side, you realize you can look down and see all of Nova Scotia and then all of Atlantic Canada. What a different perspective it gives you being up here so high. The balloon continues to ascend and you can see all of Canada and then all of North America. You can see that the earth is slowly revolving below you. Other continents and other oceans of the world are revealed. You imagine the lives of people in those different places, concerned with their day-to-day -day lives in their own contexts, 
and you recognize there is a much, much bigger world that's our home. The balloon continues to rise and now the earth is just like a slowly spinning ball below you, a blue pearl in a black sky. You realize this is the perspective that astronauts have spoken about, seeing the smallness and vulnerability of our beautiful planet and seeing the importance of interdependence of all living things and the elements that sustain us on our beautiful world. A sense of wonder and oneness comes over you. How can we worry about our differences when we have this amazing planet in common? Captain Beebe clears his throat again. <clears throat> Do you want to see the real magic, he says. Everyone in the basket looks at each other a little nervously, but then unanimously nod their consent. Okay, Captain BB says. Each of you tie one of these ropes around your waist just for safety. We're going to speed up a little bit. Once everyone is tied in, Captain Beebe continues. Okay, you've all heard about quantum physics, the theory of relativity, the speed of light, all that Einstein stuff. Well, keep looking at the Earth. We're going to move faster than the speed of light. So that means what you see will be from the past. There's a flash of light. The balloon descends a little so you can see different parts of the world. And you can make out what's happening. There are scenes from your own past and then scenes from your parents' past and members of that older generation. You see scenes of history in front of your eyes, scenes you've read about, and scenes of nature in a more untouched state. You see people you know as your ancestors, working and playing together. And you know that you were there too, involved in the unfolding of the drama that was happening at that time. This deep time experience is awe-inspiring all the other passengers are looking over the edge as entranced as you are. It puts your activities and relationships of today in a much broader perspective. We have one more time to go to, Captain BB says but you have to watch carefully. If we stop and stay totally still, he says, while the earth keeps moving, we'll be able to glimpse the future, another passenger whispers with amazement in their eyes. That's right, Captain BB says, be very, very still.
Now, as you look down on the earth, the scenes from history rush before you. Then you see yourself as you were earlier in the morning, admiring the balloons. Then you see yourself as a much older person, looking happy, but in a much older body. Then other scenes unfold, a world of new technologies and new ways to communicate. You know you're seeing the future, much beyond what you thought was your lifetime. And yet you realize you are in the future too. You play a part in the scenes that are taking place below you. Excuse me, Captain BB says in his gentle voice. I know how lovely it is to be still, but we need to move again. Our journey is almost over. You feel the mistiness on your face again and realize the balloon is passing through a cloud. You're looking down on Nova Scotia and you know you're back in the present time. Slowly the balloon descends until you can see the farmer's field again and you see the red and blue and white balloons on the ground taking on new passengers. Their excited voices drift up to you as you come closer to the ground. But as you look around at the other passengers in your basket, they are calm and quiet, looking content and thoughtful. The basket gently bumps on the ground and the passengers quietly climb out, nodding and offering quiet words of thanks to Captain BB. Thanks for the ride, you say to him, and he looks at you knowingly and smiles. Choose your perspective, he says. And you quietly walk away, knowing you can now hold a different perspective of yourself and your identity in the world. Om Shanti.